What do you do if you have a senior loved one who's driving, but you're worried that they shouldn't be? Or what if your senior loved one who is driving has moved to a new and maybe unfamiliar area and you're concerned that they could get lost? Well, Family First has a GPS tracker that will allow you to keep a uh, virtual eye on them to make sure that they're safe and so that you could find them if they did get lost. I'm Robin with SeniorSafetyAdvice.com and we're here to give you tips on how to age in place safely. Today we're going to talk about the Family First GPS tracker and how it can help you and your senior loved one. So Family First has a GPS tracker that can track your loved one or yourself, whomever you're concerned about. Um, they gave us a tracker to test for a month in return for our honest review. So I have been using it for a couple of weeks and I think it's done a really good job of tracking my driving trips. I've taken it pretty much everywhere and I can pull up the reports feature to see exactly where I've gone in the couple of weeks that I've been using it. And I can click on the waypoints on the report to see um, where exactly the car was at that time, which is a great feature if you are tracking somebody who may get lost um, I can think of somebody I know whose elderly mother kept getting lost on the way home from the grocery store when she moved to a new senior complex. And so that way they would know exactly where she was if they had used a tracker like this. So I put my tracker in the open console between the seats of the car, but um, you need to be aware that you wouldn't want to put it into a glove box or into a closed console because that could interfere with the tracking signal. So it might be difficult to hide it from somebody if that's what you were intending. So the tracker is accurate. It followed me around. It knew when I shut off the car. It knows that the car is parked in my garage. It does record things like um, speed. So that's good because you don't want to have somebody who's going to go, you know, 90 miles an hour down a residential neighborhood if you're tracking a teen. Um, you can set up a geo fence, which I thought was pretty cool. So what that means is you set up an area and then if that person or the vehicle goes out of that area, depending on how you have it set up, you instantaneously either get a text or an email or both uh, that let you know. So, you know, going back to the elderly mom going to the grocery store, if that's what she swore she was doing, but she ended up all the way across town, you would know about it. Um, it does have some ports that come with an upgraded package. The GPS tracker that I used was the basic tracker. So at, I can only get the travel log that has the track history on it, but there are other things that are provided in an upgraded package like um, fuel use and mileage that the car was driven, that kind of thing. So the pros are that it was easy to activate and set up. The battery does not need frequent charging. I left the tracker in the car for an entire week just to see what would happen. And it was, after a week, was still probably just a little below a 50% battery life. It's easy to use. You just turn it on and off you go. I thought the geo fence was a really neat idea. Um, if you're tracking a teen, and they're swearing they're only going to go to their friend's house, you'll know right away if they go outside of that geo fence. Some of the cons were, again, a lot of the reports were not anything that you could use unless you purchased the upgraded tracker package. Again, the tracker tracks the vehicle that it's been assigned to, but it doesn't track anything else. It's not, it's weird. It's not tracking the tracker I don't know. I took the tracker with me and we drove in my husband's car one day as an experiment and it did not track the tracker at all. So apparently it, it's only tracking the vehicle that it's tied to. In summary, I thought it was easy to set up and use. I think it would be useful to track the car that it's dedicated to. Um, the only thing you'll get with the basic feature is the driver's safety report that shows the speed driven and the route taken. So you'd have to be aware that you would need to upgrade if you wanted to have any other features. But if you're interested in tracking your loved one, 
I thought the tracker worked well and I would recommend it. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have anything to say about a GPS tracker or you wish you know, you'd had one because you had a loved one you were concerned about, please leave a comment in the section below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's over the buttons in the corner. Um, and also hit the notification bell. We put out a new video every Friday to help seniors learn information and tips about aging in place safely. We hope you'll join us every Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.